free to call in. Can you hear me with the mask? Yeah. Uh, okay? Sure. I'm a founding member of the Blue Girls, and we've been embarrassing museums for almost 30 years. And this new, with this new Whitney, it looks like our work isn't over yet. Since we started in 1985, U.S. museums have become more and more closely aligned with big business, big oil, and big finance. The art market has become an instrument of capitalist investment. And that's complete with insider trading and conflicts of interest that go right into the boardrooms where super rich art collectors, investors, wield incredible power. And when these folks run museums like the Whitney, they use the, they use the art market and their investments to decide what's preserved as our history. I don't have to tell you that's a really lousy way to tell the story of our big, diverse, teeming, and disputatious culture. It's not the whole story they're telling, it's only the history of power. So yeah, Donald DeSalvo, you're right. America is hard to see right here at the Whitney Museum. I'm here tonight to help publicize the dirty truth behind the construction of this building that it is built next to a time bomb that is ticking and could go off here or anywhere else at any minute. And the fact that the museum doesn't care and doesn't talk about it and all the hoopla surrounding the reopening proves to us once again that the art world isn't avant-garde. It's derriere. <laughs> really derriere. So let's conspire to get this message out to the public. Then, please, say, send the Google Girls on Facebook and join us in May for a whole slew of creative activities to celebrate our 30th anniversary of community of creative complaining with facts, humor, and a little fake color. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good